Let's continue our discussion of digital storage terminology. Digital storage uses the binary system, where everything is saved as ones and zeros. The word that's used to describe these ones and zeros is a bit. It's short for binary digit, and it's the smallest unit of data in a computer. These bits, these ones and zeros, are used to store all kinds of information, from text documents, to the digital photos that you take, to the sounds that come out of your speakers. To store this information, we use a whole bunch of bits put together. The number of bits we have determines how much data we can store. Now for our next term. If you take eight bits, eight of these ones and zeros, and you put them together, that's called a byte. It sounds like a mouthful of food, but it's spelled with a Y, and it refers to eight bits put together. You can think of one byte as the amount of space required to store a single letter or symbol in a text document. So if you wrote a paragraph with 500 characters, that would require about 500 bytes of storage space. That brings us to our next term. If you take a thousand bytes and put them together, that's called a kilobyte, often abbreviated as K uppercase B, or just K. Now I will mention just once that there are actually 1024 bytes in a kilobyte, and that's because digital storage uses the binary system and everything is expressed in powers of two. That said, it's okay to just think of a kilobyte as a thousand bytes, similar to how a kilogram is a thousand grams or a kilometer is a thousand meters. One kilobyte is enough space to hold about a third of a page of text. Back in the late 1970s and early 1980s, the five and a quarter inch floppy disk was a popular storage medium. It could hold 360 kilobytes of information. So now, what's it called when you have a thousand kilobytes? A thousand kilobytes is called a megabyte, abbreviated as capital MB. One megabyte is enough space to hold about one book, one photo, or one minute of music. Keep in mind, those are approximations and could vary widely based on the quality and type of encoding. The 3.5-inch floppy disk, introduced in the 1980s, could hold 1.4 megabytes of data. Now you may be wondering, what's it called when you have 1,000 megabytes? 1,000 megabytes is called a gigabyte, abbreviated as capital GB. A gigabyte is enough space to hold about a thousand books, or a thousand photos, or 16 hours of music. By the mid-1990s, a one gigabyte hard drive could be purchased for a couple hundred dollars. Nowadays, one gigabyte is considered very little storage, and you could get a one gigabyte flash drive, SD card, or micro SD card for just a couple dollars if you could find one at all. So now, what's it called when you have a thousand gigabytes? A thousand gigabytes is called a terabyte, abbreviated as capital TB. A terabyte is enough space to hold about a million books, which is around 80 school libraries, or a million photos, or two years of continuous music. Nowadays, a terabyte of storage is readily available as a hard drive, solid state drive, or even SD or micro SD card. So, to recap, we talked about how there are 8 bits in 1 byte, 1,000 bytes in 1 kilobyte, 1,000 kilobytes in 1 megabyte, 1,000 megabytes in 1 gigabyte, and 1,000 gigabytes in 1 terabyte. And that's enough to know for everyday usage. But for those of you who are curious, after terabyte comes petabyte, then exabyte, then zettabyte, then yottabyte. Thanks for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this video and that you have a better understanding of digital storage terminology.